Alright, cats, moms, and dads, we're here once again. We're going to do an experiment today, friends. Uh, this was a question that was posed in one of the groups uh, about texture and achieving this certain texture. And uh, maybe I'll flash a picture on the screen so you guys know what kind of texture I'm talking about. But I, I'm sure there's several ways to achieve this, but this is the way that I know. And flux first. So I'm going to do flux. So this is the experiment, friends. We're going to put silver dust on one and then the other one we're going to tin with solder and then put silver dust on that one so we're going to see the one that we fuse the silver dust onto the piece and one that we will fuse too but also solder i've only done it with the fused way and uh so i want to see if if you throw some solder on there too if that is like another way to do it so so we're just going to sprinkle some dust and when you achieve this look, guys, be generous. I don't know if I've ever been that generous. And then this one, we're going to tin. So uh, real quick, let's just get this to temperature. Where's my super dangerous fire starter? And I'm going to throw uh, some medium solder on this. And I'm not going to be too shy about it, guys. We're going to go... We're going in like uh, like a pro wrestler, you know what I mean? Walking down the aisle in the stadium, the crowd cheering. We got our little underwears on and long flowing hair, big muscles. Need to go to battle. So you can see we have a nice little lake of solder just sitting on there. Just scooting it, scooting it, making sure it gets to all the edges. This is called tinning, friends. Solder tinning. Now we're going to do the same thing except for over here. Don't accidentally touch it, Benny. Ow! No, I didn't. I did touch it, but I touched this, the dust and it didn't hurt. But I was, I said ow. You know how you say ow? You know it's going to hurt? Like whenever your mom used to spank you, you'd start running away, covering your tail and screaming ow before you even got one swat. Are you guys of the generation when you got spanked? I got some uh, spankings when I was a kid. Uh, every single one of them I deserved. Let's be honest, friends. Let's take accountability. Let's take accountability over here, guys. I have great parents. Super awesome parents. Actually, I have the best parents. But everybody thinks they have the best parents, I'm sure. Okay, we're, we're going to go big right there, guys. I don't know if I've ever put that much dust. And then we're going to go high heat. And let's start with the one that's already kind of hot. This is the 24 gauge with the solder. We're going to be on the block today, friends. But I usually will put it on this wire so that it separates from the block because because the block is such a heat sink. Um, I find that things come to temperature a lot faster when I have it sitting on a wire. And uh, when it comes to temperature faster, the solder melts faster and there's it's just a less amount of heat on the piece and lowers your chances for fire scale, which is something I always struggle with. Even if I dip it with boric acid and denatured alcohol, I still struggle with fire scale. So it's just one of those things, guys, that I, I'm still trying to figure out. Okay, ooh, something's happening. It's kind of it's bulky, balling up. I wonder why. That's not clean dust, guys. It was just out of my scrap pile, so maybe some of the dust is has impurities in it. I just... There was a little ball there, and I just kind of pushed it down. Okay, we're going to go. You want for you to get nice and shiny, guys. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get off that, and then we're going to go to this one. I might have left that heat on there a little long. This is the one that has... That's the one I should have got less heat because it was had solder on it. And it's stuck. So let's heat it. If it's stuck to your block, friends, just heat it up again a little bit, and then eventually... And always po poke away from you so that you're not know, poking towards yourself. And then it falls in your lap. And then it ruins your day. This is the fused one, guys. Just flux, no solder. I'm looking very, very closely. And I want for it to, those little dusts to get shiny and then get off. That's, I think, what I want right there. So let's go like this. Quench. Take a look-see uh, file over the top of it, and you'll see that it'll create a texture. And I will also do the same with this one. I hope I didn't get this one too hot. 
it's possible that I did, so. All right, let's clean it up and take a look. The pieces, I put them in the pickle. This one, the square one and the round one. Actually, I wonder if maybe this might be the better way to go about this. Is that a vibe, as the kids say? Let's try this one. This is the one, the fusing one, guys. I, this is the one I kind of like. Ow. Stop! Hammer time! All right. Look at that, friends. I think that's what we're looking for. What do you guys think? I mean, I think they're both cool. This one, the silver clumped up really nice, and or really not nice, but it, it was unusual. So there's the two possible textures that you can get from this technique, friends. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dome this and then use it for a ring. If I was smart, I would have cut it into a circle already, but I'm not that smart. Or it could be square. That's not a perfect square, though. Mmm. Time to think, friends. Time to think. Solder that bad boy down. A little bit of flux. We have hard solder. And we don't we don't care where it is on there because we're gonna trim everything around it. But oh, sometimes I forget I have a rotating table. Like there's a certain angle where you drop solder, you just let it go, you know. But when you uh, get so frustrated at that reality, it forces you to buy a rotating. And I got it for about twenty nine bucks. I heard you can make your own. Um. With the Potter's Wheel, I heard, Hobby Lobby, thrift shops, uh, yard sales, Lazy Susans. But I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm too busy over here making my dreams come true to be going to yard sales. I go to yard sales, but I never find anything good. I don't know about you guys. It's always some old lady's old shoes and a hat somebody sat on. <laughs> yeah, that's real. It's real, friends, it's real out here. Okay, so I think we got it good right there. That solder hopefully went to all the, it wasn't touching guys all the way, but as you can see, I didn't really sand it down very much. So there were some gaps right there, but I didn't, I'm not concerned with that. My concern is that this is gonna stay on there and I think it will. So now we're gonna trim around this and you'll see what we're gonna do with it. Stick around. Yeah, buddy, let's go for it, man. We're gonna saw around this all right one needlesville we're here guys and i decided to go with this kind of bezel because it has the little serrades at the top because that's what you use for stones and this we're going to try to convince the world that this is a stone but it's going to be a silver stone and typically what i'll do guys is whenever i get to this where the two pieces will meet i'll use my rocker and i'll just kind of push it and then I'll look around it and try to get my keep my hair out of the freaking frame. Am I? Can you guys see this? Okay. Then what I do, friends, is my handy dandy. Bam! I don't have to worry about a cap. I've talked about this so much. I, Sharpie should send me a thing of pens for all the advertising I get for them. Because they're like, a lot of people are like, I love that idea. Some people say, I went and got some of those. I think Sharpie, hook a brother up, man. Okay, guys, here we go. We're gonna cut right into that line. I'm not really too concerned because I'm. I know that, um, especially fine silver is very kind. Actually, it it can bend, it can stretch pretty simply. Now, as I talk about in some of my other videos, guys, if you can do your join on on a flat side like this, it's ideal. You don't want to put your join, your your crease in the corner or at a, on a tip. You want to put it in a flat spot. Um, that's what Melanie Klein, my 
Master Silversmith and my instructor. That's what she uh, tells tells us to do. And you know, whenever she tells you to do something, just do it. You know. All right, one Eaglesville. We have our bezel right here. I put a little drop of flux on it. We're gonna go ahead and get our flame, kind of medium low. Can you guys see that medium low flame? About like that. And this is what a lot of uh, people kind of struggle with sometimes, especially when you're early in your game, is how to solder these bezels without melting them. So first of all, I start with a piece of hard solder. And that is a little bit of an angle that I probably am going to struggle with. So let's go right. You want your, <laughs> if possible, you want your bezel to be sitting up and down. Sit it on there and then I just flower it. I like the word flower. Flower that bad boy. Just give it a little bit. You know it's going to get hot fast. You want to get both sides of the join evenly heated so that solder runs. Uh, right in between and it did just like that guys um that used to really stress me out but now i talk like this when i do it and it helps okay guys here we go this is where we're at that stinks i should have had my i need my readers i can't I, I couldn't well it was on the bottom so but on the top it looked like it went nice so this is a good tip right here, friends, is if that if you can see the solder didn't go all the way through, like right there, heat it up again and let that solder run. Let's uh, let's do that for you guys so you guys can see this. Because this is all learning, friends. We're, I've done this a few times. And if I screw up, then you guys can learn from that too. Dang, is it wrong that I'm looking through the camera that I can see better? Man. The optometrist told me I need bifocals and I kind of got offended. Yeah, I don't know if it's um, ethic, ethical for your uh, optometrist to clown you, but my optometrist told me that my glasses are so thick I need to put them on one leg at a time. I'm like, what the hell does that mean? Take the join, friends, and what I do is I'll just go like this. If anybody has a better way to do this, let me know. You can see that's the join and you can see the serrades match i did that by accident but that's cool when it happens but you can pay attention to that pay attention to that whenever you're uh setting your bezel and getting it ready to solder pay attention to those little grooves because you might not get lucky like i just did huh did i just get rid of it all right, guys. Well, I, I, if it's there, it's very, very tiny. So we're just going to believe in that. That's cool. All right, Wild Stallions. We are here to set this bezel. I put flux on it. We're going to cook that flux out, friends. So our solder doesn't start pop locking. Remember the 80s? Remember pop locking, friends? You guys are break dancers. Did you guys ever do the break dances? I'm from the break dance generation, friends. We broke dance. <laughs> we broke dance. We were broke. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Okay, guys, I'm going to put my solder right here, just touching the inside of the bezel if possible. I want for that set bezel to get hot at the same time as the back plate. And I want for that solder to really run around. I'm going to have my uh, pick right here. Just in case if I need to do a last minute little press, I'm kind of hunched over looking uh, at the bottom of the bezel, looking at the seam. And we'll see when that flux turns black that it's about getting to a temperature that our solder is going to start responding. So that's, that flux is getting black. I use Mighty Flux from Rio. It's the toxic looking stuff that's neon yellow i guess okay right here friends we're getting close i might need to do a little tap right here it's okay it's okay i'm gonna be tripping i stay dripping mm, okay we got that we got that we got that let's come around this side okay i can see the solder wanting to be over here and it is it is it is okay i'm looking i'm looking and i think we're in the money friends I think we're in the money and that's uh, that used to really stress me out a lot I'm doing a little bit better 
managing my emotions. But if we look at that, we can see that uh, it doesn't look pretty on right there. I don't know what happened right there. Maybe that. But the solder did go all the way around. Hey, Juanitosville, we are here at 65 millimeters. This is 20 gauge. Uh, and we're going to put this on the Genius Wire. How do we want to do the ring shank? And it's like, yo, why not bring this back? I like the fuse. Let's just fuse it, man. Now, I don't know how hardcore I want to get with this, but I think I want to get kind of hardcore. And then we go like this and just give it a little mound. So just kind of spread that out a little bit. It is what it is, baby. And I like that. I'm an is what it is type of dude, you know? I'll go for that. I'll buy that for a dollar and a half. What do you guys say? Let's go for it. Let's do this. Now we're going to go kind of a hard heat. And we're going to just fuse this bad boy. We're going for it, friends. We got spirals in our eyes, and we're leaning toward moving forward, friends. Okay, it's getting red. It's getting red. Let's turn this heat up a little bit. Force the issue. On the back side of this, and probably be some fire scale. You got to be ready for that. Just pre mentally prepared for that. So if you're one of those people that is like really freaked out by in imperfections, fusing might not be for you. All right, I think we're gonna believe in that. Yeah, that's very, I mean, ooh, some came off, some came off, okay. Okay, maybe it's not on there as good as I thought it was. That has happened to me before, friends. So that just means we didn't get it hot enough. Put a little bit more flux. Why, I'm not exactly sure. I just know that people that know more than me, they tell me to use flux whenever you're doing fusing. This guy told me that, he's like, yeah, flux. I don't know why I think it helps the silver bond maybe better. Who knows, guys? If you guys know out there, please put it in the comments. We're all trying to learn out here. I know this is long, friends. I know this is long, but this is we're learning here. I'm not, I'm not trying to cut corners for you guys and just show you the finished product and be like, oh yeah, this is what I did. And then you guys have to just like take my word for it. You guys are in the trenches. You guys are in the trenches with me, friends. Together, friends. We're doing it together. Okay, okay, okay. And now I'm seeing, I'm moving, I'm moving guys down, down the line. It's starting to bend, it's starting to kind of fall. That's kind of what we're looking for. I think we're gonna believe in that. You guys haven't fallen asleep yet, have you? Look at how it warped. Yeah. Heck yeah, buddy. Mama Taka to me, tried to tell me how to live. But I don't listen to her because my head is like a sick. What do you guys think? And I even did a little bit right here, guys, because I know this is going to be a ring shank, so I gave it a little angle. If you guys can see that, I got a little bit of an angle there. But look at that. Is that what we were kind of hoping for, friends? I think it is. So we're gonna go ahead and bend this into a ring shank and it should be about a size 10. This is my idea. This is a style that I do and we see a lot. Um, it's nothing new. It's, a, it's kind of a typical way to do it, but I think it's, it's easy, it's fun. It makes it so you can make uh, I mean, you can make it as complicated as you want. I can split this down the middle. I can spread them out. But on this idea, I wanted this to be like this. Now, what I didn't think about, because I didn't think ahead, is I don't like them this thick, this wide. I like them, that's pretty wide. But sometimes if they're too wide, you can't really make a fist whenever you need to defend yourself at the pool hall. Sometimes I'd like to come in right here, like I did right here. I'm going to spend some time contouring this band. And, uh, yeah. Function, fashion and function, friends. A little bit of a bend down here. And, uh, I did try it on. And I could, I could, I could throw down if I had to, you know. As jewelers, we try to should not, not to fight because we need our fingers. And, you know, breaking your finger on some knucklehead's knucklehead, that's probably not a good idea. 
a good idea to sweep your block uh, once in a while. Just have a little shop broom on the side right there hanging from a nail. Everything in my shop is hanging from a screw or a nail. Because that's the way I roll. Just in case if you guys didn't see, I put pencil on the boom. I put pencil on the boom so that the solder doesn't go there. Now if I feel pretty good about it. You know, I just thought of something. Dang, I know better than this. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to let this cool off and I'll tell you why I'm stopping. All right, I stopped. I quenched this. And the reason why I'm stopping, friends, is because I forgot to file this flat. I want to file that flat. Um, blends into, see that, see that, uh, that shelf. If I file the outside and if I file the outside enough, this will be a nice blend into the back plate. And that's probably not going to be uncomfortable if you wear that, but Let's try to go for quality a little bit right here, friends. If we have access to quality, let's reach for it. All right, friends, in the search of quality, look what we did. We did a little sanding, or not sanding, but some filing. And I'm feeling pretty good about that. Back on it, right back on it. Sorry if I forgot to do that for you guys, friends, but I wonder if maybe some of you guys were out there like, hey, dude, you didn't do that. I remember like, oh man. You know, I know, I know. You guys are probably like, he just makes mistakes just for us to teach us. I wish those were the truths, but they're not. Um, I make mistakes because I'm human and got to give yourself grace in this, in this uh, business, friends, in this hobby, in this interest, in this profession. I hope, I really hope there's no professionals watching this. Put it right there. Let's see if we can get this to come this way. I might need to nudge it. I'm watching, my friends are watching when Adelsville don't make me look stupid. Come on, play along, guys, play along. Is my heat too low? Pressing on this far end. The solder traveled, I believe. Okay, we're going right here. We're kind of already still at temperature, I think, close. I'm gonna touch it right here at this front corner. and forth, touching the front corner. If it needs a little assistance, we will give it to it. We'll keep the temperature down here. Come on, guys. Don't, it wants to go up on the shank, but I want to get it down on the back plate. So we're going to get some really small pieces. You guys are with me. I know this is trying to heat up just a little bit more. The more you turn up the heat, the more you got to kind of keep it moving, guys, because you don't want to sit it on one place too long. We'll move it into the scene. There we go. There we go. Come on. That should have. I'm pressing down a little bit right there. That should. I kind of believe in that, guys. There's no reason why that happened other than I was shaking. I shook at the wrong time. Come on, Fr Fast Freddy and the Furious 500. Let's go right here. Let's go right here. Let's get it back to temperature. That's gonna be a little cleanup job I'm gonna have to do, but that's kind of what happens sometimes, friends. Sometimes it doesn't go according to plan. He's got the heat on the outside. Come on, guys. Dude, this is terrible. I'm really sorry. Sometimes it goes so smooth and sometimes it goes like that. We're good, we're good. A little cleanup, but we're good, guys. That is pretty ugly if you look at it like that, but we're going to make it look pretty. And that's the beautiful thing about jewelry, friends, is no matter how ugly it looks at one point, the beauty is just below the surface. So if you guys remember that, you guys are going to be in good shape because anything is salvageable in jewelry. I mean, it might not be what your original plan was, but anything is sal salvageable. And if you, as long as you go by that kind of idea, you're going to be a, a lot better headspace going through your adventures. All right, Battle Cats, this is essentially what it's going to be. Um, I wanted to kind of show you. This is the texture, friends, that some people are wondering about. 
So I hope you guys learned how to have fun with these kinds of textures. Um, in my experience so far, I think we learned that uh, just putting flux and letting it fuse is kind of the way to go um, for this type of texture. And I did that right here, created this uh, little stone. This out of this, this was just the example. And then I was like, Look, I can't just throw that in the trash can. I have to make that work for me. So let's make it work for us. And that's going to be it, guys. As always, if these videos provide any value to you, please subscribe, man. Um, join us on Jewelry Adventures. We're always learning and pushing our skills and getting better. And if you're interested in that, then join the Juanitosville family. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, friends. I hope you guys have a good weekend. It's raining here in beautiful western Colorado, and I'm about to go camping. I'm going to be offline for a couple days. So uh, get out there and make your dreams come true. I'm Benny Boom. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>